The LEGO Ideas Vincent Van Gogh is not only a beautiful LEGO set, but a unique one at that. Taking one of the most iconic artworks in history, known for its swirls and curves and movement, and turning it into a LEGO known for its rigid lines and blockiness. And if it wasn't for one glaring issue, I would say it's nearly perfect. So in this video, I'll show you a simple fix that will take this set from shelf art to art gallery. You might be asking, what's this one glaring issue? And if I were to be honest, it's actually two. First is Lego adding this thick black frame around this elegant and carefully thought out design. And then second would be the overall footprint of the set itself, it's quite small. Luckily, what I have in store will solve both these issues. My first thought was to recreate this romanticized image of Starry Night with this antique gold frame. However, I had to remind myself, simple fix. This would definitely complicate the design, plus LEGO simply doesn't have enough gold pieces in their catalog to accomplish my dream enhancement. I realized the answer to this design was hanging in my room the whole time. All it really needed was some separation, and this way I could easily incorporate my gold fix. First thing I needed to do was remove this overbearing black frame. Luckily, this is very easy to do with gentle pressure from the back and a couple of clicks. I'll set this frame aside as I'll come back to it later. Now all that I'm left with is the actual art itself. And you notice one thing like I was saying before, the Lego Ideas Vincent Van Gogh set is quite small in stature when it comes to art pieces. It would definitely have more appeal if it had more size. And one way to add size is by adding matte. This is an easy way to give any small art piece the real estate they deserve. One more thing about Starry Night is there's a lot going on. It's a chaotic place. So another benefit is it allows those colored Lego pieces a breathing room. They need separation. Plus it provides a clean border that would greatly enhance the set's visual impact. You know another chaotic place that needs some cleaning up? The internet. And that leads me to a company I recently started using and had the pleasure of collaborating with, NordVPN, which allowed me to fund the making of this video. Now, for those of you who don't know what a VPN is, it simply allows you to connect to the internet via a different country, and it's a service that provides online privacy and protection. Now, one of my favorite benefits of having a VPN is spoofing your location. That way, I can access TV shows, sports, movies from all around the world while remaining the comfort of my own home. Even when they took away some of my favorite TV shows like The Office and Friends when they were on Netflix, all I have to do now is spoof my location and they're easily accessible back on Netflix without the need of me signing up for any more streaming services. NordVPN recently added a new feature which sets it apart from their competitors, threat protection. Threat protection fortifies your computer from malicious websites, malware, trackers, and intrusive ads. Definitely a bonus when you're doing your online Lego shopping. Plus, all you need is one account, which can be used up to six devices. There's a link in the description below, nordvpn.com forward slash brick foundation. Clicking on that link helps support this channel and also gets you access to an exclusive deal. Sign up for the two year plan with NordVPN and get a bonus deal absolutely free. Plus you get 30 day money back guarantee, which means you can get all of your money back if you're not satisfied. Now back to the video. Question is, what scale of mat should we use? I decided to go with a four stud matting. On the original design, the frame and Starry Night were sitting on four stud wide plates. I'll now need to increase that to eight stud wide. I'll be using two by four white tiles and some two by six tiles here and there for the matting, followed by some black slope curves and one by fours. There's one more layer I want to add. If you remember the Van Gogh painting that's hanging in my room, which I'm drawing inspiration from, there's one thing missing, gold trim. So to give this set an additional pop, I'll be framing Starry Night with gold slope curved one by ones. Plus making this the first framing layer will keep the cost down because these metallic gold pieces can get expensive. Time to place that order, speed up time. Metallic gold pieces look so good. 
Adding this mat has now increased the overall footprint, and the original frame will no longer fit. I will now need to stretch out the frame eight studs per side. But that's not all. One thing that actually bothered me with the original design was this kickstand. I know it's there for stability, but it takes away from the overall design, and it's gotta go. So not only did I need to increase the width of the frame, but the thickness as well. That way, we can kiss this kickstand goodbye. Now with the added thickness, we can easily go back to the same problem as we did in the first place, placing too much emphasis on the size of the black frame. However, a way to give the illusion that the frame's thickness doesn't change will place white Lego on the first layer of the frame outlining the matting. This will help give the illusion of a thinner frame. And all that's left is to combine all three parts. The matting, the frame, and the art. Let's take a look.